Hey guys, it's Bonner from Bonner Realm, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a bucket server of your very own. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make the server, you know, launch up a normal server, and I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to port forward your server. So let's straight away go on into it. You're going to want to go straight to dl.bucket.org. Um, it'll have the recommended craft buggy version and the beta build. Uh, right now, I'm just using the beta build. I don't know why. You can also go into alternate versions, and it will give you a giant list of all the builds they've ever came up with, or came out with, or released, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, just download that file. Locate where you have downloaded this file, and um, make a new text file. Um, let's just find new text document. Let's call it run. Open run. And paste that into your whatever. I don't know. Paste it in there. Save as. Make it all files and put dot bat after the file. This will make a batch file. And you're then going to want to rename this as craft bucket. Don't worry if you see this as a RAR file. That's just what I usually use for opening jar files. It's probably not going to be like that for you. Double click run. And it will come up with all this. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it access. And as you can see, it's downloading and preparing spawn areas and whatever. You may not know what all that means, but, you know, that's not really the importance of this video. And right now, you just have your own Minecraft server. It was that fast. But, yeah, you can hit run to launch it whenever you want. Uh, let's actually test out to see if it's working. Let's just go to download and let's find Minecraft and... Get rid of this. Okay. Multiplayer. Direct connect. Local host. Join server. Logging in. And it will connect you to your own server. As you can see, say derp, something like that. Um, pretty simple. Uh, now we're going to teach you how to port forward. Just close this up for a second. I probably should have typed in stop. And go to a router login.net your default password is most likely admin and password that is average default uh, I know mine is you're gonna wanna go into the port forwarding area and I already have it but I'm just gonna show you how to do it you're gonna put in your service name say MC server or something and then 25565 25565 and then put in your IP address if you do not know what your IP address, this isn't your actual IP address. This is your um, IPv4, I believe. So you're going to want to go into command prompt. And you're going to want to put in IP config. And it is, uh, let's find it. Not that. Actually, yeah, it is right there. It is right there. IPv4 address. And that is it. You're just going to want to put that there and into there and you know then it'll be fine and you should run up your server and you should be able to connect to it with eh, your friends should be able to connect to it you should do also but yeah uh, i hope this was a nice fast tutorial for you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh see you next time bye